Hello everyone, my name is Rick, Rick Van Bruggen from Neo4j and here I am recording another Neo4j demo. That's been a long time since I've done that, but I needed to do this because I've just gotten access to the first uh, early access program preview of Neo4j Bloom, the new visualization product that will hook up to my Neo4j servers and provide me with visualization and discovery tools. Fantastic. All right. So obviously what I had to do is I had to hook it up to my beer database, right? So here we've got it, right? And it's uh, generated some default visualizations already for me. Uh, you'll get that automatically as you start up Bloom. Um, but I want to show you around a little bit and, and I'll, let you, I'll let you get a taste for what it can do. All right. So what am I going to do? Well, first of all, I'm going to look for a beer that I really like, right? That would be Orval, right? Uh, or I could go for Duval as well right, or whatever I want to look for, right, and I can actually explore that and say, okay, show me this, right, Let's, uh, expand this one, right, or actually, um, maybe I can do something else here, let me do a shortest path between a couple of uh, nodes here, right, then you can see that it actually visualizes that quite powerfully, I like can zoom in, I can zoom out, and it, it does that quite well, right, um, as uh, as I as I do that, you know, I'm actually using something we call a perspective, a perspective that allows me to illustrate how particular labels are visualized, what the captions are going to be. You know, I can I can configure that over here. But the most powerful thing about Bloom that I've seen so far is actually how you interact with this um, this uh, scene here, right? So if I say Orval, okay, that's very nice. But now let me see if I can find the beer type of Orval, and it immediately does that. Hey, now I want to see if I've got other beer brands of the beer type of Orval, right? And now I'd like to explore it one step further and say alcohol percentages of beer brands of Orval. And you see how you this allows you to explore this deeper and deeper and deeper without typing any cipher. You know, you just have to do this in natural language, so to speak, right? So if I now go and go and find Orval again, it automatically finds me not just the beer, but also the brewery actually. Um, but that's, uh, that's okay. Right, so that's uh, that's the natural language interaction that we've got here. Now, I want to show you something else, which is the ability to create these custom search phrases, right? Because natural language, it's all fair and well, but it can be quite domain specific, right? So here you can actually create these domain specific phrases that allow domain users to look for specific patterns that they really I think are important to their domain. Right, so in my case here, I I think that path between between beers is very interesting, right? Because the beers that are between two beers are usually quite interesting recommendations, right? So what do I want to do? I want to actually find the path between two beers, beer one and beer two. And here I've got a cipher query that does that, right? It looks up a first beer brand, a second beer brand, and then it finds the shortest paths between those beer brands. Right. At the bottom here, you find suggestion queries, which allow you to get tool tips for the two parameters, beer one and beer two. Right. Really cool. All right, let's see how that works. Now, if I go back to my canvas here, and here I say, basically, I want to find the path between Orval and Duval. It does that without me having to write any cipher. Right. I've got Duval on the left, I've got Orval on the right, I've got the high yeast characteristic, the beer type here over here, and I've got the alcohol percentage over here. And these two guys are super interesting recommendations for me. Wow, that was easy, right? I really like this. So um, looking forward to what's ahead, lots of plans for Bloom in the future, and uh, I think we'll have some very cool things coming up. Thank you for watching this, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.